All right, well, let's just start with, I'm not answering any questions about who practiced, who didn't practice, why they didn't practice, all right? We had a good start to the season, all right? I like where we're at. We can be a hell of a lot better, obviously. We had to emphasize more the second half of practice in this heat, all right? Because we talk about winning the second half of every game, and they coincide. But uh, pretty pleased with where we're at. Guys came back in really good shape, good retention. I thought the speed of practice was pretty good. Yeah, it felt great. I felt it felt good for me to see for them, you know. And uh, hopefully, we can look forward to more and more of it this season. Tom looks great. Tom looks fine. You can ask him. You can ask him. Uh, we 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 excuse Raven Green, and. Uh, for personal reasons. We'll see. We'll see. Coach, I know that you said you were so eager to kind of get this week over with the festivities to really turn the page and focus on this coming year. Do you feel like you were able to do that in such a time today? Oh, there's no doubt. Yeah, the way the, way the guys competed out there and uh, the retention um, was, was outstanding. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. He just dropped too many ten passes. But, but how would you say, though, how would you say he's, he's fitting in with this offense? And, and... Well, if he gets wide ass open, he's got to catch it every time. And he's got great hands. I think it was just a little nerves. Speak a little bit to how you see the rookies training so far today. Yeah, Joe, Joe showed up. I, I think both those line, most of those guys are on the other field. Uh, so I'll have to watch the tape to really grade them. But when we got together, uh, Joe showed up and flashed. Yeah, we, you know, we saw that in minicamp. You know, we, we, we kept everybody away and then uh, brought them in for minicamp, and, and there was a, a, a great start to the season. And it is, this is just a continuation of that and building on it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we have the whole coaching staff back and all the players. We should be able to have good recall. But, again, you can't assume that you know anything. All right, you have to go back to the basics and start all over. Uh, we'll talk about it some other time. Don't assume anything. You're starting from scratch. That was last year's team. This team, we can't assume that we know anything. We have to go back to the beginning, start all over, listen in the meetings, and, uh, and, and learn more from the film we have from last year. Not that I saw. I, I think we'll know as camp goes on, maybe three weeks from now, and uh, hopefully the soft, in, in, soft tissue injuries uh, disappear. Bruce, how much is COVID on your mind? How much of a part of the speech was? Uh, it's, it's always on your mind anymore. You know, Florida's a hot spot in the nation, and, uh, you know, Hillsborough and Pinellas were number one for a while, so the guys still have to be smart. And uh, we talked a lot about the Delta variant, what it is, and uh, what – what rules you're following, you know, if your wristband's red or if your wristband's yellow. I know Mike got really excited after one of his, his passes he caught and kind of ran into the stands there. Um, do you kind of have to tell guys, hey, you know, calm down just a little bit because I know that, that they're tier one? And, you know, you yeah, I think he just jumped the fence because he couldn't stop, right, hopefully. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we talked, hard, we talked a lot about no interaction with the fans. Oh, it's a personal choice. It's a personal choice, but these are your rules. These are your rules. Follow those rules. We did a great job of following the rules last year. No, he's fine. Just like Spring, I mean, he's quick. He knows how to get open. You know, he's a vet. And uh, I think he did a lot of studying because his pass protection was all new in the spring. He did a great job today. Yeah. 
throw. No, he's he's a a guy that he's so smart. He can play a lot of positions and uh, might give us ability to bring up another gunner uh, if he can cover three or four spots for for roster game day. How would you describe Bruce the past week in terms of White House and the ring ceremony? It's over. It's over. That's last year. Those rings were pretty sweet. That's last year. I'm not wearing mine. At all? No. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he came back in great shape, and uh, he was studying just in case, so he's ready to roll. When are the pads going on? I think this year we can't go for seven seven days. I mean, we have to go I think four in shorts, two in spiders, and another two in spiders. I don't know how many days off you get, but uh, they can't come on soon enough for me. What were you looking for today? I mean, looking at execution or what kind of shape you guys were in? What were the things? Were you uh, execution, speed of practice, and execution. I mean, we're finished. 27 minutes early, so that was, that's always a good sign. And uh, you know, grade to tape, go in and grade to tape. I'm anxious to see field two because I don't get to see field two. Uh, I liked what I saw on field one, but we still had we still had some mental errors that shouldn't have been made, and that's what we talked a lot about last night. Was it really just kind of the drop pass? Was it drop pass has always had to be cleaned up. Yeah. Bruce, have you talked to anybody in terms of a coach, maybe, or an executive that uh, that has been a defending champ and, and succeeded in? No, I mean, I've been part of two of them. And, uh, no, it's uh, so much of it's luck. You know, uh, you got to stay healthy. I mean, if you, if you start losing guys, starters, your chances go down. So it's just a matter of uh, you got to have some luck. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You bet. Appreciate it.